Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, a few days ago, I did a pop-up word that I had not planned, and guess what? Here's another one today. Um, God just, you know, it was interesting because I had a very late night, um, very, very late. I only had gotten a few hours of sleep. Because God was just really working overtime, just giving me some messages and some words that were very important. So I want to say a few things real quickly to um, really just prepare some of you for some things that are happening. So the first thing that I saw very clearly was that God is giving a lot of revelation. God is giving you a lot of revelation. And what you have to be careful of when you receive this revelation, a lot of it will appear jarring. Like, what? Oh my God, what? Like that type of response. But what God wants you to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is to be keenly and acutely aware that the revelation is not about you retaliating. So the revelation is not about retaliating. Okay. What you have to do, though, is hear God, because for each of you who walk into this particular space, God is going to give you something very strategic to do, and you have to keep your cool. Keep your cool. I cannot stress that to you enough. Keep your cool. It will be very tempting to go completely off, but that is what the enemy wants you to do, okay? Okay. Now, as a result of you keeping your cool and being honest, once you get these revelations, you won't have to do anything but continue to stay where God told you to stay and everything will be revealed to you. Okay. Again, once the revelation comes, that is not, in, that's not a, a, a red flag or that's not a sign for you to be like, oh, I'm going to retaliate. No, just post up and let God be God and let him explain to you what is going to happen next and you take those instructions very seriously. Let me tell you something. A lot of people will be entering we're like mid first quarter of the year. A lot of people will be entering second quarter and your entire life is going to be different. Second quarter starts April 1st, okay? So some of you are about to experience experience things that are so life-changing in the next three to four weeks. It's going to be like how you started the year is going to be completely opposite by the time you get to second quarter, okay? So this is why it's really, really important that you do not deviate and you understand the power that you have in this hour. It is, it is mandatory for you to understand this, okay? Now, what I also want you to understand is this. Right up and through this little space right here, you're gonna God is gonna confirm some things that you have been feeling about people. He's gonna show you their true motives. It's a lot of it's a lot of weird spirits going on right now where you know it's kind of like you know, like when you're in a situation, you say, Well, I I think this might be something, but I'm not sure. I used to be a type the type of person that would say, Well, if you're feeling it, if it's your gut, then you know it's this. I do still agree with that, but every time you feel something in your gut is not necessarily negative. And I think what the culture has been trying to teach as of late is that if you feel something in your gut about somebody or a situation that is automatically horrible and awful, and they do not mean you well. But what you do have to consider is that if you do feel something, in this particular season, do not jump to the negative because the enemy is trying to make people um, believe things about people that are not true. So it's called a masking. That's how I was seeing it, like a mask, M-A-S-K, M-A-S-K-I-N-G. There's a masking going on. And the only way you are going to be able to discern and decipher what this is, is by you spending time with God. It is not going to happen by talking to people. It's not going to happen by running it by people. God is going to tell you in your prayer time, honestly, you literally, the only way you're going to get this revelation, he, I, and again, I don't know why this is like this, but I'm going to be obedient in this space. It's only going to come from talking to God directly. I can tell you that right now, because this is why this is why taking heed right now is so important 
You'll pick up the phone, you'll call somebody, type somebody, email somebody, whatever, FaceTime, and you'll try to spill the tea or quote unquote, get some information from someone and it will blow up in your face. Let me tell you how this is working. The people who do not sit with God to get the answer, they will go to somebody and they will give a nice, eloquent, excellent answer and it will sound fantastic and it will sound great. And you want to know what's going to happen? They're going to take that advice and it's going to be the wrong advice. And they're going to look up and be like, wow, I should not have done that. So basically you're taking a situation that wasn't necessarily bad or good. Just maybe some God wanted you to know, maybe you had a little inclination, but he don't want you to cut the head off. He don't want you to, oh, it is. No, he's trying to show you something. So you, you have to be very careful up in this space because the good thing is this, which is the part I couldn't wait to get to. If you can get back into the space where it's just you and God and you're not relying on other people to do things for you, if you can get back into the space where you're like, okay, wait, I've reset and I can really hear God for myself. Once you get right there, that's literally going to open up a lot of doors that have been held up and you don't even realize some of these doors have been closed because they were self-imposed doors that were closed. It was literally your action and your inaction. That was causing people to jack things up. And in turn, you were jacking up things for yourself. Okay, so it's very important that you understand that this is a rhema word. This is a word for now. And it's not a bad word. It's just a full word. And you have to get into it and you have to follow suit. Because again, what I do know is this. There are some blessings that are on back order. And that's the third thing I want to tell you. There's some back order blessings for some of you. And you you have to access those blessings. You're going to only be able to access those blessings through people and things of God. If you keep mixing up who you want to talk to and who you like and what you want, and they fit this and you like that, you are not going to get it. I don't care how hard you work. Y'all got to hear me out, man. Y'all got to hear me out. If you don't know who Nebuchadnezzar is, Nebuchadnezzar had pride. Everybody loved him. He had all this stuff popping. It was all good. It's so many men and women in this day and age right now that could relate. Nebuchadnezzar was so, had gotten so full of himself. God literally turned him into a beast. And I think he was a beast for seven years until God fully humbled him. You do not want to fall in that space. And we know it's not that dramatic, but the point is, like Proverbs sixteen eighteen says, pride comes before the fall. Do you understand words like this come so you don't even have to fall? You can literally just reset yourself and it can be all good. So those back order blessings are going to come when the pride is set aside. When we look face to face with God, like, hey, Lord, what do you want me to do? I have to, I have to understand no matter how much I did with this, no matter how much I think I know, no matter how much I keep trying to do this and that, I got to put you back in the equation. And that is not easy, y'all. Let me tell you, a te- Ooh, one of my favorite quotes, okay? You don't want to be so busy trying to climb the ladder of success that you end up climbing up the wrong building. You want to know why that's not only the worst thing ever, but the blessings that are on back order for you are in the building and up the ladder that God gave you. Okay. I have done this before. So I'm speaking from experience. I'm not speaking from arrogance or a pedestal or saying this and that. No, I have learned this the hard way, but I've also learned this. Sometimes you have to do things in certain seasons that other people may not understand because they're used to you posturing yourself a certain way. And God is not allowing that anymore. They could get mad all they want. You could get mad all you want. God is not allowing that, y'all. I want you to get your back all the blessings. I really should be, uh, you know, I probably just, uh, should still be asleep because I really, really had a late night. But God is good and he is faithful. And I'm a believer that if he had me get up to say this, then it is important that it's going to change some people's lives when they take the advice and they move forward in the things of God. So let me just let me just be clear again. The whole point of this message, even with the breakdowns and the, the warnings and the, the fact that it's going on right now, is that you have back order blessings coming. 
You have to be in a certain posture to get these back order blessings and you're going to get the access from God. Now, I will say this one disclaimer. Although you are entering in and you are praying with just you and God and y'all just having y'all free time. Look, when you get in that whip, turn that radio off. What, what you normally do when you got music going and you're around people, disconnect from those people. Don't don't block your opportunities to hear God clearly in this hour. OK, because this is what he's going to do for some of you. He's going to plainly show you somebody you will. You will have a very clear vision of a person. He might drop them in your spirit. They might pop up. They might call you. They might. It's something. But you are going to know that is the plug. God is introducing you to your plug or reintroducing you. Ooh, that's a word right there. He is reintroducing you to your plug. OK, you're going to know. Either that person been on your spirit, they've been on your heart. You might have just been like, Lord, I, you know, I don't even know if I can talk to them again. Or, you know, I hope that I can. Or I don't even know who this is. You can just have a myriad of thoughts. But the focal point is this. You are going to only get access and permission to move forward with that person once you go to God first. You can't just jump out and go, go talk to them or go do whatever. That's going to end up not what you need it to be. The point is that you want to stay in alignment to get your back order blessings. So I hope this helps you guys. Make sure you like, you share, subscribe, and please turn on your notifications. Um, guys, I think I've been shadow banned. So if you see my stuff, if you uh, if you have the capability to share a post on your uh, community page, if you have um, the capability to pass it on to other people to share, please continue to do that for me so that I could um, see, you know, how much stuff is getting out. We're currently working on that. But I also want to say this too, to anybody in this space and this, the social media realm, you might not be on YouTube, you might listen to people, but you might be doing things, things of God on other platforms too. I just want to say a prayer for those of us who have been just getting attacked a lot of what's happening is spiritual and people are word cursing ministries. People are angry because many people are speaking truth and all of that fluff and these lies that's getting numbers. That's God is going to bust that stuff up because it is very important that you understand the magnitude of what it is that God is trying to do. So please just be in prayer. I pray that God covers you. He blesses your ministry. I, pr I pray that he keeps you in faith. And I pray that whoever or whomever may be attempting to stop or halt what it is that God is trying to do to get your voice out there in whatever medium is a podcast. It could be radio. It could be any, any social media platform. My prayer is that God exposes them and stand on Luke chapter 12 verses two through three and the Holy Spirit will reveal to you exactly who it is and what they are doing and it will come to a stop. Believe that I have never seen him fail me on that scripture. I've never seen him fail me. So because I and I realize there are a lot of people right now who are speaking truth that are getting shadow banned. And it's not just on YouTube. It's on TikTok and other platforms to people that you guys love to listen to and hear. And they really have been helping your situations. So with all of that being said, like I said, thank you, guys. Remember, you have back order blessings coming. Just make sure you get in alignment. You do what the father is telling you to do. And like I said, like, share, subscribe, notifications. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.